Hey guys, uh, Crypto Spacey here. Um, uh, let's talk about uh, Harmony Nodes today. So this is a unique project. Um, why I say? Because if you see, they have this feature renting a node and also you can compound your income from rental to create new nodes and also you can upgrade your uh, node. Uh, like you can mix and match different tiers and to create higher nodes. And uh, ROI is less than two months. If all this excites you, stay on. We will discuss uh, more about this. Again, this is an educational video only, not a financial advice. Please do your own research. Okay, let's get started. Um, for the starters, um, this is on the Harmony blockchain. This is, um, if you're not familiar with Harmony, Harmony is um, also one of the upcoming uh, blockchain where they have um, rapid uh, transaction speed, speeds and also it's very low on gas fees and also security is very high. If you see here, they can process up to 2000 transactions per second. That's impressive. And um, they do have their own uh, swap like um, Trader Joe, Uniswap and PancakeSwap. You can go and uh, swap with OpenSwap. And this is where uh, the uh, Harmony nodes built on, right? I think it's the first project, node project, and uh, coming to their uh, node tiers, and uh, their not native token is called the phone, you can see here, and uh, currently they plan to do the pre-sale at $20, this is only for the whitelisters, and public sale is for the $22, and um, they have the supply of 600k. And let's learn about their tiers. Uh, one tier is the their basic tier is called Nano. It costs to 10 and 1% ROI. It's a very low and it's going to take close to more than three months to break even. Next is Pico or Pico, whatever you call. Um, but it costs you double the number of tokens, 20. And um, break even is 87. Mega is uh, 75 days. But you need 50 horn, whereas Giga, you need 100 horn with 1.75% uh, uh, less than two months of uh, ROI. And if you see here, uh, Giga is on a better side, but it does cost 100 horns, and um, that's on a medium scale compared to other projects. And let's learn other features um, how this project is uh, playing out. And if I go to their uh, white paper how do we buy um, this um, nodes i think one way is you can participate in their pre-sale if you see where you can buy their nfts and that is um, where you can uh, convert into node correct and this again this pre-sale is only for the whitelisted folks and other way is after uh, they do the public launch you can go and buy the home token that is the native token and you can uh, exchange it for node, correct? And um, another good feature is user will be able to upgrade their respective nodes into higher tiers. This is a very good feature, uh, upgrading it. And another good feature about this upgrading is you can do the mix and match of uh, nodes to create a higher node. For example, you have uh, two giga nodes, correct? That is equivalent to 100 uh, whole. So you can upgrade that to one mega node. Right. Similarly, if you have 10 nano nodes, you can upgrade it to one mega node. Or if you have um, uh, two pico nodes and one uh, nano node, then you can upgrade it to one giga node. Right. So then they have this um, flexible uh, way of uh, upgrading the node, and that's a good feature. I like that. And also, they have only uh, 600 tokens, uh, 600 um, horn tokens, and um, Another good feature or something new, um, maybe there might be other projects, but this is the first time I'm seeing um, you can rent a node. Right? That's what I told, spoke to you. How does this work? If you see here, for example, you have a mega node and um, you are projected to earn is around 50 homes for the uh, next month, but you can uh, rent that at cost of 35 home, right? So what is the advantage? Instead of you waiting for the your return for the end of the month, you can get that 35 uh, horn upfront like a month earlier. And uh, good thing about this is you can take this 35 horn and you can use it to compound to buy a new node. Like uh, you can buy another uh, one pico node and one nano node. 
right? And you can start make earning there itself. So it's like a compounding in nature. I like this uh, concept. And uh, again, this entirely depends on the cost of the node. Uh, the good thing is if it is keep going up, then renting is going to be a best option that you can make a uh, good uh, amount of money. And um, of course, for any project, adoption is the key. And but I'm really excited about this. Let's see how it's going to play out. And uh, coming to the treasury, how they want to manage the money, correct? And if you see that whatever the pre-sale money in that, they plan to put almost close to 50% into the uh, provide the liquidity and uh, those things. And also they plan to invest in the Harmony validator nodes and Cosmos nodes, stablecoin farming, precious metals. Okay, this is something new. I've seen a lot of projects trying to keep themselves within the crypto space, but here they try to go out of crypto uh, to the traditional uh, uh, commodity market. Maybe they plan to invest in gold, I guess. I'm not sure. And also seed investing opportunities in, um, and also looks like um, voted on the, by the community. I mean, they plan to involve the community also in the uh, investment. That's good. They're not letting, um, they're, they're not making their own decision. And how do they plan to sustainability, right? Because all this project, the buzzword is sustainability. How everyone try and planning to sustain. The one, the most effective strategy is the taxation, correct? And if you see here, they do have the 15% sales tax. That means whenever um, you claim and buy uh, sell the own token, you may need to pay 15%. For example, if you have $100 worth of phone token, and when you're selling, you will be paying $15 worth of sales tax and end you'll be getting $85 list. Quick math. And they do have 40% transfer tax on the native token home. Okay. That means if you have home tokens and you plan to transfer to a different um, wallet, it's going to cost you 40%. Uh, that's a lot of money. So I'm not sure who will be doing the transfer. Maybe some whales, they want to redistribute. Uh, that's the reason. And um, that's good. Uh, the more tax, the more money to the protocol and uh, more money to the node uh, holders. And um, I'll be sent to the pool. Okay, next another thing is, okay, this is very interesting. If you see here, we are applying a unique mechanism where users have broken even after around 60 to 100 days, whatever it is. Every time users claim and sell, their effective daily reward reduces by 15-5%. Okay. So they do have this uh, decaying uh, reward rate. That means the reward rate goes down. And um, the good thing is they're letting you make your initial ROI. After you have your initial ROI, then Whenever you claim after that, it is going to be reduced by 5%. Uh, this is good and bad. Some they like it, some they don't. And I prefer this way because I got my ROI. Next, well, whatever money I'm get, my making, it's all profit. And by reducing this, it is going to create, um, it is going to um, make the project run longer. So that way it gives the time for the Harmony Nodes folks to uh, work on their projects, right? and their roadmap and investment, everything. And ideally, any team, they need more time and more money to sustain. So the longer the project runs, the better we have chance for the sustainability. That's what I believe. And uh, how do we buy? I think we already went through this. If you're whitelisted, uh, you can buy on March 15th. And uh, the, need, uh, the token to be used to buy is the USDC, note down here. It is not uh, any other token, it is the USDC and the price is $200 um, USDC at the rate of $20, 20 coin token and that is for one NFT and uh, if you cannot, if you are not whitelisted, you can buy it on between March 24th to April 4th, that's almost 10 days. I'm not sure which day they are planning to do the launch, I guess they are still working on it, but price is $22 and um, Again, if you want to buy on the exchange, you need to have USDC to buy home token. And um, yeah, this is uh, their white paper. If I go to their Twitter and uh, they do have a Twitter with 4,000 followers, that's not bad. 
and uh, let's see if they have any whitelist going on here let's go to their discord we can learn more and um, so guys um for the newcomers the best place to learn about the project is quickly you must have uh, gone through their white paper and if you want to learn more you sh you must join their discord server if you see your harmony currently they have around 11000 people that's good there's a lot of people here and um, come here and learn about the project as i keep mentioning on the right side you can see all the founders and the team details if you have any question uh, feel free to ping them and also go to their faq and uh, i'm curious in the faq about their kyc if you see that will you be doing audit and kyc yes we plan on doing kyc with uh, su d5 that's good audit will be done by certic excellent and uh, multi-sig yep they plan to do with four-way multi-sig with two members from the team two public figures or uh, three or four way will require to sign up excellent so it looks like they do have plans on KYC and multisig and audit too, uh, but so far it's not yet done. And till they do it, we we need to keep watching them. And uh, coming to their whitelist, uh, let's see if they have any whitelist open. It looks like they had 400 whitelist spots uh, open at March. It got exhausted, I guess. Yes. And let's see if they have any new announcement here. If I go up. Okay, on uh, March 11th, they said um, new 44 whitelists are open. The requirement for that is 15 invites and level 5 ranking, right? That means you, you still have a chance if you can uh, invite 15 plus people and uh, move up the rank in level 5, you might be qualified for their um, uh, whitelist. That's good. Still, they have the opening. And uh, yeah, this is... Uh, about the project and I feel based on the renting concept, flexible node upgrade and with uh, so many community support, this seems to be a good project. As I said, still they are not done KYC, audit and multi-sig, but they do have their in plan. We need to keep that high. Uh, so overall, it's a decent project. So if you guys like it, just put it on your radar and uh, keep watching them. And uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's about it. And if you'd like to see more similar videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you and uh, have a nice day.